Hey guys, what's up? And today we're going to be talking about my most disappointing reads of 2021. <laughs> I read quite a lot of good books um, so I didn't have as much of a list but the books that were disappointing were like really bad, really bad disappointing um, so I have seven books that I felt were disappointing very very disappointing so let's start off with number one so some of these books i do own um because they're part of the series or whatever whatever reason i'll explain um but uh, most of these books i do not own anymore and yeah so the first book is the mysterious affairs at styles by Eartha christie um i regardless if i like my Eartha christie book or not i keep them i'm collecting them all so that is why I still have her. Um, I did get a different cover. I used to have this ugly, ugly cover. Um, but I found this one that is so much be more beautiful. And for a terrible book, I would rather have a pretty cover. <laughs> so this is a book um, just about a family and I believe someone gets poisoned. I could literally not tell you anything about this book. I gave it one star and... The characters all kind of blended together. Um, I was bored. Yeah, this is her first book, so I shall allow it. Um, I just didn't get along with this book at all. Like, it just was not for me, and that's fine. Um, not all of Agatha Christie's books are my favorite, but this is the only one on this list, um, and I've read quite a few, so yeah. Um, I just, if you're going to start somewhere, don't start on the first book of the Hercule Poirot series um, because it will stray you away from the rest of her work, which most of it is pretty good. Um, she just has some books that aren't as good, like this one. <laughs> the next book that was super disappointing and mm, problematic at the same time is Romana Blue by Julie Murphy. I picked this up because I've heard a lot about Julie Murphy and I was going to read Dumplin' and so I was like, okay, let me pick this one up and see what I like. Um, I gave it two stars. Um, sometimes I think that I should put it to one star because I hated it so much, but I did read it very quickly. I read this during the freeze that we had in Texas and so my power was out and everything. So I just had all this time to read and I read this book pretty quickly. Um, it was an easy read, but it was also very problematic. Lots of confusion. It just made being bisexual very, um, what the media portrays it as, as being confused, not knowing anything about yourself. Like, she, Ramona is a mess. The fact that she made all of her friends go along with her all the time. Like, I just think it's a very problematic book. And I'm not going to say much about it because I really don't want to promote it. But I had to put it on the most disappointing reads of 2021. So, um, I ended up giving it two stars, but I may drop it down to one star. We shall see. The next disappointing book was interesting to me. Um... <laughs> So, Six Months Later by Natalie D. Richards. This was an interesting one. I started off really enjoying it. Um, I was like, oh, this is so exciting. And then it kind of flatlined for me. <laughs> it was very boring after a while, and it was just too long for its own good. I didn't care by the end of it. I did finish it. None of these books that I've had on here, um, or have on here are DNF books. Um, I did not put any DNF books. I DNF'd a bunch of books this year, but um, I just didn't think it was right because I didn't finish the book, so I can't uh, have a full opinion about it, I feel. I finished this book and I ended up giving it two stars um, because I did really enjoy the beginning and I think about maybe 100, 150 pages in, I just couldn't do it anymore. And I was like, this is so boring. Like, we're going over the same things over and over again. Um, so yeah, I would prefer not to read any books by Natalie D. Richards. Um, yeah, six months later, it's, I can't tell you what it's about. I have no recollection of it. Um, I know that it had, it's like a murder mystery. Maybe it's a murder mystery. Well, this girl, she like loses, six months of her life and she has no idea what's happening 
Um, and so she has to kind of figure out what happened within those six months. And it's just a lot. It's, it's a lot. And with little very payoff at the end, I think. So, yeah. The next book is I'm Not Dying With You Tonight by Gilly Siegel and Kimberly Jones. Um, this was a one star for me. I listened to this while reading along to it. And I just found it so, so... <laughs> There are so many issues with this book. So besides the writing being not the greatest um, on either side, on either points of view, um, the characters were just bad. <laughs> like I felt um, I, it was Gilly Siegel's character. I don't even know their names at this point, even though I read it quite recently. Um, so Gilly Siegel's character that she wrote was very problematic. And I understand, like, maybe you want to have that problem-ish situation, but the fact that no one was like, hey, maybe you shouldn't say stuff like that, um, was very interesting. Um, yeah, it's not a book that I like to talk about, to be honest, because uh, it just was not, um, was not a good one. Was not. I don't recommend it. Um, I had it on my shelves and so I finally decided to read it and it's a very short read um, if you listen to it on audiobook <laughs> after a while it's a little bit of a struggle um, but yeah the writing just wasn't great the characters terrible both of them problems that could have been um, not in the story at all happen because of something stupid like a guy that's toxic um, so yeah just not just not my favorite <laughs> the next book is a very sad, disappointing read of 2021. This is a book I pre-ordered, um, and oh, I just wish it was better. <laughs> so that is As Good As Dead by Holly Jackson. <laughs> I'm so upset about this. I'm keeping this because I have the rest of the series. Um, it's back here. Um, but... <laughs> And I love, I literally gave the first two books five stars. And we know the second book is never a good one, but that one was actually really good. Um, but in this case, the third one went off the rails. I'm not going to tell you um, exactly what happened in this book, because if you haven't read the rest of the books, I also don't want to spoil this in case you haven't read it yet. Um, but just be prepared to be like, what the fuck is going on? That is what, uh, I thought most of the book. The first 200 pages I really enjoyed, and then it just went off the rails and continued to go off the rails until it was completely, um, crashed into the ground. Um, it was, it was a dumpster fire. <laughs> and not even, like, a good dumpster fire. Um, you know how sometimes, like, there's a shit show, but you live for the shit show. This is not one that I would like to be a part of. So this series is about Pip Fitzmoby and she is in the first book trying to figure out a case for her senior capstone project and she comes across a case that is very popular in her um in her county city what I'm I don't know the right word but she um so she goes into that case trying to figure out what exactly happened because people kind of just blamed people and it didn't necessarily come up with a solution for the case um so she redoes that case and tries to figure out who exactly killed um andy it's a very very great book um and i just wish the series ended correctly um because this was not the ending we wanted I don't know very many people that actually enjoyed this book. Um, again, the first like 200 pages are amazing. Um, and I was like, oh, this is going to be fun. Um, but no, I ended up giving this three stars um, <laughs> just because I did enjoy the first 200 pages. And the characters, um, they kind of got all of the characters involved in this one, which I really enjoyed just because it kind of was like a farewell to care for the characters. Um, but yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, it was a dumpster fire though, like really bad. This is probably my most disappointing read, even though I gave it three stars. The fact that I gave the rest of the series five stars is, yeah, 
this is definitely my most disappointing read. The next book is Birthday by Meredith Russo. This was a sad, disappointing read. I ended up giving it two stars because it had a good premise and stuff. It just read too young for me and I didn't really get anything out of the story and I think maybe if I was younger and um, I was dealing with the time I was dealing with my sexuality, I think I would have really enjoyed it. But uh, since I'm out of that now, um, I just don't think that I enjoyed it that much. Um, but I do think if you are part of the LGBTQ community and you are um, probably 12 to 15, I think that would be like the right um, age for how this book is written. Um, I, th I think you might enjoy it. Uh, I just, too old I think, um, but yeah. I really am sad that I didn't like that though because I had really high hopes for it. Um, it is a quick read though, um, so that helps. <laughs> so the final book that was disappointing, and this one, per se, I should have guessed. Um, I should not have pre-ordered it, but I did because I love this author. So um, it is The Falling Girls by Haley Krisker. Um, the only reason that I did not enjoy this book, and I will tell you exactly why, I highly recommend this book if you like cheerleading. Um, you don't have to be a cheerleader. If you find cheerleading interesting, I recommend this one. Cheerleading just does not pique my interest. And I literally only picked this up while I pre-ordered it because um, I love Something Happened to Allie Greenleaf by Haley Krisker, which is one of my favorite books of the year, and so I will have that video. That video will probably be up before this one, so I will link it right here. Um, but yes, this one just didn't do it for me. It read young for me as well. Um, it didn't show off Haley Krisker's potential of writing because I know what she can do from Something Happened to Allie Greenleaf. And so, yeah, I understand the purpose of it. It was about toxic friendships within cheerleading, well, within high school in general. And um, it has a murder mystery aspect to it, um, which is interesting, but um, I guessed who it was kind of right off the bat. Um, so, yeah, I, I'm going to keep it, obviously, because I am going to collect all of Haley Krisker's books because something happened to Allie Greenleaf was a whole other experience. Um, also, this cover is gorgeous. I know we're not supposed to be keeping books because they're pretty, but I have to say that Haley Krisker's covers are always beautiful. Um, yeah, I, I gave this one three stars. I would not knock this book if you are interested in cheerleading because majority of the first half of this book is cheerleading based talks about cheerleading, it's about cheerleading tryouts and stuff, and so, yeah. Um, but, but I do think that it is an interesting book, that's why I gave it three stars, and the only reason this book is on my most disappointing reads is because I gave, um, I gave Something Happened to Allie Greenlee five stars, um, earlier on this year. So, um, I do recommend, um, this book for a certain audience, that's what, that's what I say. Um, it just wasn't for me, and it's really sad, but, um, yeah. But I will be keeping it because I have to keep my collection of Haley Krisker's books together. Those are the seven books that were my most disappointing reads of 2021. Comment down below if you've read any of these books and your thoughts on them, or if you have any, a list of disappointing books that you would like to comment down below. Maybe take them off my TBR shelf if they're, if they're not, um my kind of style. So yeah, I hope you enjoy this video and I hope to see you in the next one.